guys, this is Brittany with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I colorize my blown out skies. So I do this by creating my own gradient sky overlays. You guys probably know that I do have another tutorial showing how to use gradients to uh, colorize your sky. But this method that I'm about to use right now is a little bit more effective, in my opinion, and it's a time saver because you're not going to have to go back into the gradient panel and do it over and over and over again. Rather, you can just, you know, open up the image, plop it on top of this one, and voila, you have a colorized sky. So we're going to turn this image to this one right here. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to File, New, and you want to go here to where it says Document Type, type and select Photo. The background contents, make sure that you have Transparent selected. Click OK. Okay, so now we have our blank slate. So now what we want to do is in order to make it look, you know, realistic in colors, we're going to actually bring up a real sunset sky image. And we're going to sample each of the colors in that image to make our own gradient. So I'm going to go right here to the internet. And I'm using a website called pixbay.com. And I'm going to type in sunset skies. So when you're choosing your sky, make sure that the colors are similar to those that are in your image. Uh, when I say colors, I mean color tone. So my image is pretty warm, but yet it was still, you know, daytime. It wasn't like a really, really vibrant sunset setting. So I'm going to choose this one right here. So in this image, I have, you know, the deep oranges, and then it fades on up into a deep blue, which is perfect in my opinion. So I'm going to click on free download, and my size is going to be small because I don't need it any bigger than that. Select download. Now I'm going to click on this arrow and select show in folder. Now I'm not going to save this because I've downloaded it multiple times and I have it saved on my computer already. But if you want to save yours, feel free to. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop and then bring up the folder. I'm going to click and drag this image over to the top of my screen. And that opens it in a new tab. So now you want to select your move tool right here and click your tab and drag it on down. Now click on your background image here. And here we go. So now we're going to add color to our little template here. So I'm going to click right here and select gradient. Now click on gradient and I'm going to select this blank one right here. And you want to double click the slider on the far left side. Now I'm going to go in, oops, let me just drag this one over. I'm going to go in and sample one of the orange colors. So I'm going to go with that's too deep of an orange. Let's go with something brighter. I'm going to go with that one. Select OK. Now I'm going to click towards the middle. Not exactly the middle, but towards the middle. And I'm going to select a even brighter orange. So about... Yeah. Oh, I think yellow would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to select the yellowish orangish color. <laughs> and now I'm going to make a, another one by clicking right here. And now I'm going to go in for one of the lighter blues. I think this one is perfect. And then click on the slider on the far right side. I'm going to go for one of the darker blues. I'm going to select OK. I'm just going to take a look at it and feel free to play with these sliders here. I'm going to drag that down, drag this one down a tad, drag this one back up a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. So now I'm going to select OK, OK again, 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to save our overlay as a JPEG. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And let's see, where am I going to save this? I'm going to go to Images, New Folder, and I'm going to call it Sky Overlay Gradient. And I'm going to title this one number one. And make sure right here where it says Save As Type, make sure you have JP, JPG <laughs> selected. Save. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our image. And I'm going to find that folder that I just saved. So I'm going to go to Images, Sky Overlay. I'm going to click and drag it over to my image. Oh, that's pretty small, but it's okay. So now I'm going to click the corner and start dragging. Drag, drag, drag. And I'm actually going to go on and lower my opacity a tad just to see where the colors lie. So about, because I do want some of the orange color in the sky right there. And then I have the blue going up. That seems good. Select your check mark. And now you want to change your blending mode to multiply. Next, select your layer mask and select B on your keyboard for your brush tool and make sure that your brush is a black soft brush. And I'm just going to start painting this off of her and yeah. I don't mind it too much on the top of her head because, I mean, like, it's almost like the light is reflecting from it. Not the light, but the color. There we go. Don't want any haloing. Okay, so I'm going to go in and lower my opacity a little bit more. And voila. So we've added slight coloring to our sky. Uh, it's not overly dramatic, yet it's not completely blown out. And I feel like this really helps me in enhancing my images by a ton. So yeah, guys, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.